this DIY, the first item I'm making is this little mistletoe um, ornament. So it's made out of this felt. I'm using the felt here. It's roughly 20 centimetres by 20 centimetres, maybe a bit more square. It's quite thick felt. So depending on what felt you've got at home, I would suggest a slightly thicker felt. It holds the leaf shapes better, but depending on what you've got, use what you have. And then I've got these little felt ivory balls, which would be gorgeous as the mistletoe berries. You can see them on this one here. I've got little wooden stars here just for a bit of decoration on the top. And then the second item I'm going to be making is using these um, templates, leaves I've got here. So making a slightly smaller hanging version just with three leaves. I've got this template here for a, a greenery garland I'm going to make later in December, which I'll post up on my channel. But I thought it would be useful to make one here. I could make a smaller version of the mistletoe. And I've got twine to finish it off. So I'll get on with making the hanging mistletoe first. So the first thing you do is you get your square of felt and you fold it in half and roughly about an inch, inch and a half strips. And we'll need three of these. So there's one, two, it doesn't have to be measured out. A mistletoe is a natural item after all. So it can be just measured out. So I'll put that to one side, the off cut, and I use that for the second DIY. And then what we do with our strips, we fold them over and working on the folded side, we will create our stems at the top. So you want to create something that is approximately, I don't know, about a centimetre wide, depending on the thickness of your felt. Because this felt is relatively thick, I can go thinner, but just be aware of what felt you're working with. So that is the stem at the top, and we sort of flute it out so it has this kind of curved edge towards the end. And this is where we'll cut our leaves out in a short while but we'll just make the stems to start with. So same thing on all of them. Start on the folded end, cut like that central channel out, like so, and we'll curve out the ends. And we will focus on those shortly to be the leaves. And last one. And you will need relatively sharp scissors for this. I've got two pairs here in case I need my detailed ones, but these ones are quite sharp craft scissors, craft scissors that I have. So, okay. And if it comes when you come to assemble um, that you think you need a slightly thinner stem here, we can easily fix that at that point. Right, so there we go, we have our three basic shapes. So working on the first one, what we're doing now we need to cut out the leaves. So it's still folded, but we're working towards the open end now. So we come down with the curved shape and then we curve it around at the bottom towards the middle and curve it back on itself towards the top. And then you need to bring it in like it's got a little stalk on the top. We can tidy up the edges of the leaves once we've cut these out. So then you turn it over and do exactly the same on the other side, bring them back towards each other and then towards the centre and join those two cuts up in the middle there, like so. Once you've cut them out, open them up, just have a quick look. And uh, Like I said, because it's a natural item that you're making here, it doesn't have to be um, symmetrical at all, but I just like to cut off any bits that look a little bit too pointed, just to curve up the edges of these leaves ever so slightly. So there we go, I'm done. Well, this was a little bit lumpy there, so you can see lumpy edge, just curve it in like so. And there we go, that's that first one done. So then we just do exactly the same again. Let me move up as I go. So starting, like I said, on the open end, around on the bit we've done, curve it round, bring it round back towards itself, and up to the centre, flip it over, and you don't have to flip it over, it's just being right handed, I find that a lot easier to work from one side than the other, if you're left handed, just do it the other way around, and then join those cuts up in the middle, open up, and just smooth out any lumpy edges. Here now. 
And I've got this really dark, beautiful dark actually. It's a sort of this luscious kind of green. But you can have whatever green you want, it doesn't really matter. It just depends on, you know, mistletoe has different colours in its plant anyway, so you can do whatever you have really. So the final one. Towards the middle, and then the last two. And get that up towards the middle. So open it up and just check for any slight wonkiness. relatively happy with those. Move the trimmings out of the way. So the next thing I do is I layer them up, one on top of each other, and then I'm going to attach the hanging cord. So getting my yarn, I cut the length, slide it underneath, and then gather it up, and then tie that together. I don't know how much hanging space you want, so maybe one or two inches to allow for to be able to hang on a nail or a hook and also that it can hang and not hit people in the head depending on how low your ceilings are and then trim off the excess there you go so now it's hung up but now we need to secure them in so we need another length of yarn up there and then what i do with these let's just get them roughly make sure they're as close to the middle as i want There we go. So then I hold the twine at the back, slightly longer on one side. Oh, no, sorry, not longer at all. I don't want it longer, I want it equal. And I'm going to pull it into a bow. And then using the twine, I just wrap it round the stalk twice at the top, flip it over, and do similar on the bottom. One, two, like that. And then lay it down, and I pull it into a double knot. So keeping the front facing upwards. So you're always working on the good side. And there's the knot there. And then what I do, I, this is my preference. You don't have to, you can leave the ends loose if you want. You can do, um, add anything you want onto the top here as a bit of decoration, but I like a little twine bow. So using the ends, just pull it into a little twine bow and then it's just a little bit fiddly. So I don't like to cut my twine too long because I don't want too much wastage. So I pull them in and then pull them back out again to just tighten that bow up. And then just equal out the loops a little bit. There we go. And I've got a little bow on the front of my mistletoe hanging. So then I just trim the ends off. And then the next thing, what we're missing here is obviously the mistletoe itself. So I have got, I like adding three balls onto these. So using my hot glue gun, which is out the corner here, it's plugged in at the moment. Squirt on a little blob of hot glue onto there. And then just place them round and you can use these to sit the leaves over the top so that when it hangs out, we get a bit more volume. Hanging there, and then just as a bit of decoration, like I said, pick up the little wooden star, blob of hot glue on that, and I just stick that to the top of the stem there. And there we go, and that is it. Simple, easy little mistletoe hanging for your house. So, that, and then you can keep these and bring them out every year, reusable all the time. There we go, and then I'll just now move on to the smaller version of the mistletoe using these three leaf templates here. Now the second mistletoe one, getting the leaf template, hold it against your felt, 
and using the scissors, I'm going to cut it into the roughly rectangle and then cut down the template. So, I'm not trying to be too precious about this. The template is there as a guide, after all, not as an exact shape. So that's one down, and now I need three of these. one done and now for the final one to keep that cut for another craft be able to use that on the greenery roof that I do later cutting around the edge and there we go that's our three greenery leaves one, two, three. And now what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to glue them on top of each other. So they're sort of in that kind of pattern. So you have three hanging out like so. And then I'm going to put on the three mistletoe balls onto that. So just to run the bead of glue on the back of that one, like so. And then just place that in the leaf and then do exactly the same on this one. Bead of glue on the back and then place it on top. Careful not to stick it to your worktop obviously. <laughs> and there we have our three leaves together and I'm going to cut a bit of twine and this will be the hanging piece. And now what I'm going to do with this one is slightly different. I'm going to allow uh, an inch or two in terms of hanging at the top. So tie your knot before you attach it on this one. So there we go. And cut off the lengths, tidy it up, and then turn over your leaf. And then what we're going to do is attach the twine with glue to the back of your mistletoe. So, using your hot glue, put a blob on the back of your felt, like so. Get your twine and just place in the glue and let that cool. And once it's done, make sure it's centered on the other side. There we go. Hold that in place to dry and cool. And there we go. It doesn't take too long being hot glue. Let's get these threads off me now. And then the last bit that I want to do for this mistletoe is add the balls on. So as before, oops, get your mistletoe ball, attach a blob of hot glue, and I'm going to do three on this one as I did for the hanging one. So one. I'm going to put all these three together at the top of this little toe on this little bit. And there we have it. Gorgeous little felt, small greenery mistletoe style hanging decoration for your house.